OK, we're under, underway. Well, Lydia, congratulations. Silver, silver medalist. Nice ring to it. Yeah, um, you know, going into the week, you know, a big goal of mine was to just have fun and, you know, embrace the Olympics, um, you know, embrace the Olympic spirit. And, and to me, now at the end of my you know, Olympic week, uh, to be having this uh, silver medal, it never gets old. Um, and it's a special moment, you know, it's, it's something that I couldn't have done without my team, you know, without the support. And you know, I just feel like I, I made a contribution to, you know, the, to New Zealand and I'm proud of that. It must feel quite different, just the whole vibe around things with the with the Olympics. Very different to a major. Yeah, I mean, when we're, I mean, golf is a very individual sport unless you play those team events. And you know, even though this week I was playing in an individual format, I felt like I was in a big family, a big team. Uh, and you know, to see some of the athletes come out and watch, even though it was my caddy and me inside the ropes, I felt like they were there supporting me. And you know, we were playing a team format and. That's the great thing about it, you know, get, you get to learn more about other sports, you get to learn and get interested in other athletes too, and you know, I, I feel like that has been a great experience, um, and you know, I've learned more about sports just coming to this week too. How different does it feel to be an Olympic silver medalist to being a, a major winner? I mean, every tournament is different. Um, you know, I would never take away, you know, both of my major wins. But at the same time, you know, if somebody tried to steal this medal off me, I don't, I don't know how I would react. Um, but you know, every tournament is special, and everything has a deep meaning to it. Uh, but you know, this week, you know, it's something I've been dreaming about for the last seven years, uh, and you know, for it to have come true, and you know, for it to have such a great ending towards it, uh, you know, it's, it couldn't get much better than this. That third round really shot you up the leaderboard, didn't it? It was a, had, a, had a big impact on the outcome. Yeah, you know, um, I, I played pretty decent. You know, came off a good back nine, uh, you know, on the first day. And the second day, too, I, I couldn't get things going. Um, but on the third round, to, you know, have my first hole-in-one in my career. Um, and, you know, for that to be in the Olympics and, you know, for me to shoot a low number where I gave myself a good run at it, uh, I think that was definitely the biggest difference. Um, you know, without that 65, I know that, you know, maybe this may not have been possible. A few putts you left out there today? Yeah, I mean, there were so many putts that were close. Uh, and, you know, I, I left quite a few short, and when it's short, it's never going in. Uh, so I, I knew that coming down the stretch, I needed to be more aggressive, and you know, that ended up working well. So I think that's what I've learned, is that sometimes, you know, obviously it depends on the situation, but, you know, sometimes always being safe uh, and always being tentative uh, is, is not really the right option. You need to have that balance between the both. What do you think a, a lot of the, the men, the top men golfers, have missed out on by, by not coming to Rio? Um, you know what, I, I haven't really seen a single mosquito this week, uh, so the Zika, and I and I get bitten a lot, um, and you know, my, my blood's good <laughs> to, the, to the mosquitoes, but you know, this week uh, I have not seen or heard really about Zika and you know, the things and the negative press around it uh, you know obviously it was disappointing when you when you're coming into the week but I think everybody here you know including the men's last week they had a great week you know great two weeks for golf and you know the things we worried about really didn't become you know a problem at all so uh, maybe you know those players are probably working and trying to be in the 2020 uh, Tokyo Olympics and you get a chance to celebrate now yeah, um, well, I'm actually going to go and watch athletics uh, and see another New Zealand athlete compete. So and just to be even here uh, at the club um, and, you know, just see some of the other athletes and, you know, hear the Kiwi accents is always good. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks, you. Lydia.